And it's gonna be Hagiara versus Ragnya. So Hagiara, everybody knows this guy. Probably one of the strongest, uh, one of the strongest Jacko player in Japan currently. There's a bunch of very good Jacko player, by the way, in Japan currently. Uh, but most would be I keep forgetting all of their name, by the way. <laughs> but there's a Dai Nida, there's Nidaime, there's um, um, what's her name? What, what's their name again? It's uh, Migu Migu. Then you have uh, Caffeine. You have Hagiara. Uh, so these are like the the big four. Um, the big four uh, Jacko players in Japan currently. And Hagia is definitely on top these days. He makes, he does, he really has very, very nice uh, tournament results. And uh, yeah, you can see that he's really grasped the character fairly well, as you can already see it. Going straight into the overdrive for big damage. Honeys! And this should be it. Thanks to the extension from the Roman Cancel after the overdrive. First round goes to Hagia. Let me check real quick the uh, tournament. Okay. Oh, it was actually Gilgamesh versus Mugu. Sorry, Gil. Really sorry. It's the seating, man. It's automatic. I'm really sorry, bro. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm just gonna check if I did everything good here. And it's Amato. And it's, uh... It's round two. Two. Three. Three. And so the losers on the swap. Yeah. Then the winners. Then the user semi final, user final, and then the grand final. Okay, we're good. The bracket is perfect. And first uh, match goes to Hagiara uh, in a very, 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 very convincing fashion. Yeah, sorry, Gil, man. I'm really sorry. Don't think I'm doing it to spite you. I really did it. It's just that I see the, the tournaments. I not only do I let the system seed the tournament, but I also double check the seeding. And yeah, it was pretty accurate and the tournament decided to see you there, so I'm really sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Do your best, man. That make me proud. Again, okay, here we go. Yes, because uh, Gil is currently facing one of the strongest Nagoriki player in the in Japan, actually, currently. And he's not happy that the, the round one was him against him, basically. So. Very sorry, Gil. And the second round, the first round of the second match goes to Hagiara again with the Elysian Driver for the kill. Okay, nice low profile right there from Hagiara, unfortunately. Ooh, wow, big bait on the gold burst and goes for the wild throw reset. Ragnar looking pretty nice during this round. Let's see if you can seal the deal. Ooh, okay, goes for a mix right there. Roman canceled the aerial attack straight into uh, nothing and into the wild throw. Very nicely done, and yeah, Hagiara refusing to let Ragnia out, and for understandable reason, nice spacing right there from Hagiara, baits the DP, gonna get some pretty big, oh, the big bait on the burst, I don't really know what, okay, Hagiara was probably hoping for a wall spot right there, reason why he didn't continue his attack after the jab, oh, again with the uh, spacing and the, wow, and just like this, man, Hagiara should be able to seal it. Ah, there's a lot of scaling and still gets the DP bait. Second match goes to Hagiara. Let's see if Ragnia, yes, sticks to his gun. Ragnia, a character, um, character uh, loyalist, if I might say. I've been facing him several times on the uh, on the celestial floor. floor. Very strong uh, soul player, extremely strong. He very he loves his DP wake up though. That might be his uh, main weakness, I suppose. But other than that, yeah, a lot of very good reads from this from this player. And here we go with the corner position. Very aggressive player as well. He really, I really feel like Sol is the uh, character that fits him the most. Unfortunately for him, he got zoned right there by Agiara. Gets the grab. Goes for the save jump. Goes for the continuation. Oh lord, that was a miss. That was a miss grab, but it's okay. There was still the Roman cancel. Follow up in order to make it safe and uh, get another grab in the process, which was very nice. Oh lord, here we go. No, you will not wild assault me, sir. Let's see if Ragna is going to ooh get in. Oh, and finally Ragna getting that wake up DP. Unfortunately for him, gets clipped by the 2K of Hagiara. And here we go in the corner. Ragna with your bar managed to ooh get one hit in, and uh, unfortunately couldn't quite get the follow up of the vortex. Ah, gets hit again by the 2k. And Hagiara in currently. Oh, again gets hit by the Vortex. Gets the side switch, yo. Very nicely done. It was a pretty dangerous burst if you ask me. But uh, luckily for Hagiara, he didn't get 
upon oh wow again with the bait on the burst and this should do three to nil for Hagiara. very very strong jackal player means that he is definitely strong and you will probably get to see it during this match unfortunately i do not have a lot of data on his opponent i didn't have the uh, pleasure of fighting him on the celestial floor nor in tournaments but as you can see he's uh, a red uh red sim player so uh, definitely a testament of uh him working on the character or at least playing a, a large amount of of, uh, of games on the celestial and winning them so yeah let's see how he fares against amato but amato no slouch a very very strong faust player Ooh, and here we go with the spear and fortunately for well even if Amato didn't have a uh, little Faust protecting the follow-up, uh, uh, Atra would not have had any follow-up, but very nice damage right there from Atra gets the wall break. Go straight for the pressure, but Amato, man. Straight into the yellow room and cancel, getting the corner carry goes for the freaking cross-up. Oh, almost got, oh, if he had that side switch, that would be sick, but yeah, unfortunately, or yeah, the motto unfortunately for him, Atra wakes up with the overdrive. You ride the lightning for the kill. Nice with punish right there from Atra gets a follow-up as well. That was sick. Good stuff. Sin, who has been uh, recently buffed, extremely strong character in the season three. I have no idea where to place him on the Wow, but Amato though. Amato no slouch, I'm telling you, man. Extremely strong player. I have no idea where to play Sin, uh, to be honest. He's definitely a lot stronger than what he used to be. Uh, it's not even comparable anymore, but um, yeah, definitely a lot more uses. And ooh, wow, okay. Fortunately for Amato, he had the Roman Cancel to not get hit uh, by... To not get punished by the fact that he did the uh, Mix Mix Mix. And uh, unfortunately couldn't, um, well, confirm it. But here we go with the Atra miss times his meaty in the corner. Unfortunately for him, gets grabbed and side switched. Mato still not afraid of getting DP'd, man. Ah, here we go with the syringe. This time around, Atra does not wake up with the DP. Almost gets the wave punish. Amato, uh, both of them forced to pop their burst in order to... Oh, Lord, and Amato with the close uh, slash catches the bag dash and gets the kill. Very nicely done. So let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the jump in from Amato. Goes for the spear, the delayed one, that is. Atra uh, with the elk. Hunt. There we go with that. We got the bomb. Pressure is real. Amato reading the elk hunt again. Gets a oh, hefty, a hefty punish right there. Into the are you okay? Boom. <laughs> I've never seen his uh his uh his face during this overdrive. That was actually pretty sweet. And here we go, Atra popping the burst. He doesn't have any choice, by the way. If he didn't, he would have died. Ooh, oh, and the 6P, wow. Amato, uh, man, with the reaction station right there. Uh, Roman cancel out of an animation was on the verge of getting jumped in, but Roman cancel and punish with the 6P. Wow, wow. That conversion, man, that was sick. Fortunately for him, couldn't quite get anything afterwards. But still fun, man, that start of the round for Mamato was god, like, not going to lie. And yeah, you can see Atra definitely, uh, definitely struggling to get in. Was able to get in with the Elk Hunt. And here we go, we're playing ping pong now. Yep, Atra does not want that wig. Ah, uh, he was a little bit too wary of the Meteor right there, unfortunately for him. Here we go with the Cavalry. Atra probably, yeah, probably buffering the DP there. Wow, here we go to far HS, man. And here we go with the overhead. Nice blocks from Amato, man. I always get hit by this overhead, overhead, by the way. Again, man, with the instant air dive, man. And this should be enough to do, and it is. And here we go with Amato, man. Very nicely done. Let's see if he can keep it up. Ah, nice jump in from Amato. Finally gets the jump in. Gonna get, wow. The overhead into a pretty nice amount of... What was that? Oh, I think Atra tried to go for the Wild Assault. Probably had like a... Oh, wow, this is going to be big. Oh, wow, that juggle was sick. And you can see Amato trying to bait the burst. But yeah, Atra thankfully did not succumb to temptation right there. And, <laughs> and Atra getting a combo himself using the uh, 
Oh, very nicely done. The tick throw right there for the kill. That combo was sick with Faust. The, the th well, both of their combos were nice because they both got a sick conversion. One off of the bomb uh, for Amato and the other uh, off of the cavalry from uh, Atra. That was ab ab absolutely sick. Very nicely done. Oh, again with the bomb this time around. Amato already committed to another move. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Little Faust is out. Keeps the pressure in. Atra resisting. <laughs> resisting. Wake up DP. Oh, okay. Can't get the. Oh, and speaking of which. But thankfully for Amato, Little Faust was here to ooh, save the day. And uh, this time around, Amato gets the punish on the burst. Not only the bait, but the punish as well. Amato taking Lily 2 to 0. What is Atra going to do? We shall see. Very nice. Wow, that, that match was sick. Like the, the round previous to the one that we just saw was absolutely sick. Okay, Atra getting hit by round start here. And look at the damage they did. Already 25% of his life. Gone! Gone out of nowhere. Little Faust Cavalry is here. Oh, Lord. Again with the DPM. Amato with the adequate punish goes with all of the mixes of the book. Really, really wanted that explosion on the wick. Gonna get the corner carry. Should be able to get the follow-up. Yes, into the optimization combo. Straight into the overdrive. Kaboom! <laughs> Ima Iku. <laughs> For Atra, for Sin. Oh, and the Mato man going for the command grab into the Roman cancel into the syringe for the kill. Potential final round of this match. Let's see if Atra can manage to uh, make a comeback. Let me check the bracket real quick just to see if everybody is fine. And it seems like it is the case. Perfectly done. Okay. Let's see how this pans out. And Atra seems to be waking a little bit up. Almost. Almost walk on that banana though. Ooh, we play Mario Kart here. Careful. Ah, ah nice punish right there. Ah, you couldn't quite get the end of the punish, but here we go with big damage right there. No RC. Okay, it's understandable. I mean, Atra did have the burst. Would have been, you know, a little bit of a um, of um, of a shame if he got if he got hit by the burst. Ah, nice stuff from Amato. Gets the corner carry straight into the overdrive, and this should be it. I think it will. And it is indeed. And Amato taking it a clean 3 to nil. Uh, Igushigin Roy is a very strong, uh, a very, very strong player. I mean, he's, uh, he's, uh, how do you call it? He is sponsored by the same organization as Leo is. So extremely, you know, not, not your normal run in the mill type of organization, a very selective one at that. So very strong, um, soul player. And I do believe that Roy actually won. Uh, yes, he actually did. He did win a, a Brojo Cup previously. So let's see how this pans out. Roy versus Sweet Booty. Uh, Booty, that's his previous handle. Now it's Usi Johnny. So let's see how this pans out. I'm just going to call him Usi from there on because uh, the follow-up uh, depends on whether on which character he plays. That being said, here we go with Usi trying to apply the pressure. Unfortunately, he gets uh, his turn stolen by Roy, but manages to get the uh, yeah manages to get to, to get the side switch. Thanks to a throw, and it's back to neutral. Usui Johnny definitely wanting to get... Ooh, big, big 6k right there. It should be able to get the wall break. Boom, here we go. Good stuff from Usui Johnny. Okay, wants to get a safe wake up right there. Gets it by the vortex though. Oh no, that's unfortunate for Roy. He wanted to get that side switch, but unfortunately dropped the combo. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Roy on the verge. Oh, Lord, Roy getting the negative penalty. This is really bad for him. Let's see how this pans out. He's got absolutely nothing. No burst, no tension bar whatsoever. He's going to be really, really bad. Uh, and here we go with the instant miss. Finder for the kill from Usui Johnny. Very nicely done. Let's see if he can keep it up or if Roy is going to get some momentum back. Roy trying to get that, trying to get that with punish. With the bandit bringer ah gets hit unfortunately by the 2s and here we go with the misfinder you have to hold it that's a guard break move i was Johnny probably trying to bait that burst i suppose even though it was in the block strength i'm not quite sure but ah that being said of course good old far s for roy right there managed to uh get a counter hit on uh thanks to it and here we go with the mixes off of the bandit revolver boom boom and Kab what now? 
Wow, there are a lot of drops on the, the on the Wild Assault today. Because you could see in the previous match, uh, Atra dropped the uh, the input of the Wild Assault as well. <laughs> That's unfortunate, bro. I'm pretty sure if he went for the um, the the uh, what's called the uh, Fafnir, he would have killed probably. Not quite sure, but anyways, here we go again. Ooh, Lord! Roy really wanted that one, man, and manages to get it too. So here we go, final round. First final round we get since the start of the tournament, if I'm correct. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Miss Finer. Roy trying to get that jump in. Ooh, Lord, no! And back to, ooh, nice air to air in favor of Johnny, though. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. At least he gets the corner positioning. Nice confirm though from Usui, and Roy as well gets the side swish here again with the mix-ups. And Roy this time around getting the wall break using the Wild Assault. Gets the jump and clean one of that. Yeah, Usui Johnny is in Dire Straits, gets hit by a command grab. Fortunately for him, Roy didn't try to bait it out this time around. A nice decision from Roy not to roam and cancel. Knowing that uh, there was no practical way for Usui Johnny to uh, reach him uh, before the recovery frames of whatever move he committed to uh, would end, so he knew it. So he didn't use an RC in order to uh, to recover quickly. That was a and thus saving uh, tension bar. That was a very uh, nice call from Roy and a very nice uh, how do you call? Very nice awareness of him as well. And look at the damage here. Well, the damage is fine, but the corner carry was very, very nicely done. Here we go with Roy again with the... Wow, what is Johnny trying to do there? I... Second time that uh, he gets jumped on clean with a counter hit uh, right after... Wow, man, that call out though from Usi Johnny, man. And here we go with the grab. Roy caught sleeping. Ah, yeah, Usi Johnny, unfortunately for him. Messing his uh, quick Roman cancel right there for a potential mix. At least he gets the Finer in. Wow, that is bad for Roy. Not enough to kill though. And yeah, no 6P right here. Probably a little bit too far then. Uh, a little bit too slow. Okay, here we go with the 6P man. And Usi almost getting that follow up and mix up time. Yep. And again, man. We'll see Johnny getting open up. Ooh, just enough to get the kill. Roy takes the first round of the second match. Let's see if Usui can manage to bring it back. We shall see. With the bandit bringer. Big jump, uh, jump claim right there. And Usui, man, getting the jump in. Goes for the... Uh, Miss Finer powered, the powered up version of the Miss Finer using the cards. He gets the juggle, goes for the 6k. I do believe it's the 6k. Six, nice 6p round start for Moy. Knowing that we see Johnny was gonna go for it, gets the grab, goes for the safe jump. And next time, yet again, we see Johnny getting opened up, unfortunately for him. We see Johnny with the instant overhead Miss Finer. Gets the jump in, and ooh, Roy on verge of losing this round. That being said, I swear Roy only needs one hit. I'll see Johnny trying to get the Miss Finder, the quick Miss Finder, or gets opened by the standing K. And next time, this time around, Usi Johnny was aware, unfortunately gets grabbed and caught sleeping here. Uh, ah, no, man. Roy going for the follow up, bro. Ooh, again with the bandit, man. Ah, the pressure is so real, man. What are you gonna do? Ooh, that is... That was ah oh, nice stuff, man. That stagger, that stagger. That was crazy. Well done by Usi, not letting uh, his nerves getting the best of him, and was able to seal the deal, man. Cool-headed Usi. Okay, here we go in the corner. Usi getting the juggle should be able to get that wall break. Oh, and he didn't get the uh, overdrive. I'm pretty sure he tried to do it. We're gonna jump in. Ooh! Roy caught being staggered right there. Ah, big jump in from Roy. We see Johnny does have one burst though. Ah! Both opponents trying to pin the other one down. We see he gets to jump first. Arigatou gozaimashita, Ragnasa. 
and here we go with the jumping using the misfinder and the 2s for the kill let's see johnny puts one on the board very very nicely done let's see how this pans out and on to the next battle You see Johnny with the corner positioning, tries to get the jump in. Oh. Okay, big misfinder. Wow, was on the verge of getting punished by Usui Booty. Uh, by by uh, Roy, I'm sorry. Ooh, nice grab right there from Usui Johnny. And okay, I thought Roy was gonna go for another wake up DP that would have been very Roy like. Big Ben did bring it right there to get the momentum back. Goes for the low mix up. Oh, and wake up, Overdrive! Urinunamaiwa! Nice stuff from Usui Johnny! Ah, tries to get the bait right there! Okay, here we go with the jabs! Ah, man! That was a big 6 speed. Whoa, should be able to get the corner positioning? Yes, he does! Goes for the wild throw! And should be able to seal it! With the follow-up using the Roman Cancel! And it is! Does dust loop for the kill jumping dust for the well break and the kill okay, here we go with Usui Johnny drawing first blood we're trying to push the enemy trying to push Usui using the gunplay but Usui finds the jump in goes with the wild throw not the wild throw the wild assault for the well break ah, nice confirms from Usui Johnny yeah sensing that Roy definitely wants to try and get in Ooh, Lord Bandit bring it. Ooh, the confirms from Usui Johnny gets the kill. Doesn't even let, doesn't even give a a, a chance to Roy to uh, to burst out of it. The reaction of this man are outworldly. Here we go with Johnny getting the uh the what the hell, what's called the knockdown. Ooh, wow, that with punish of the six spear of the uh, forest man. That was sick. Uh Roy definitely getting getting read a lot these uh, currently. Everything going in you see Johnny's way. It's crazy. Here we go with the wall break. Yeah, you see Johnny trying to bait that burst. Yeah, uh, trying to bait that uh, that DP and again with the confirmed straight into the overdrive for the kill. You see, he takes the lead two to one. What is Roy going to do? We shall see. And on to the next match. Ah, big bandit bringer. Roy goes for the grab. Finds the opening on the save jump. And here we go with the wild assault for the guaranteed heavy lockdown. Again with the schmixes, man. I think we see Johnny is gonna hold on to his burst. Yeah, he's probably probably not going to burst and keep it for the second round. Nice confirms right there from Musi Johnny. Probably trying. Ah, it was. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, you see Johnny trying to at least get get the burst of his uh, of Roy, ah, and unfortunately gets gets bended, revolvered. Very nicely done by Roy. Oof, big misfinder. Ah, big two is counter it. You see Johnny should be able to get the wall break if you will. Go oh, that six speed though. Understanding HS man. Okay, let's see how Usui Johnny is going to do. Big Bandit Bringer. Wow, that RC man to to low to slow down the movement of uh, of Wild Roy and using after that man the the overdraft for the kill. Usui Johnny on match point is he gonna be able to seal the deal? Roy hand holding on to his burst. Ooh, oh lord, yeah, the bar Roy is here. Big 6 HS right there. The send sending HS. Wow, he gets the side switch as well. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, sweet Johnny uh, refusing to use his burst, and rightfully so. Just in case, yeah, just in case Roy finds an opening. I wriggled the bandit, and this should be it. Oh no! Sweet Johnny dropping it. Probably thinking that he wasn't the one with the oh, and this is gonna be kill. Good stuff, Ramusi Johnny with the Miss Finer kill. Sans Roy. He tends to like to uh, play different characters at the start of the tournaments during like round one, round two, and then switch to 
Nagoriyuki when um, when stuff doesn't really go his well his way. So let's see how this turns out. He might have worked on the natural. So it's definitely possible. I mean, the matchup itself is not necessarily in favor of. Ooh, that was a big burst bait, man. From Atemu. Ooh, he's got a big counter hit. Atemu going straight into the. Uh, what's it called? Going straight into the uh, the, the, the overdrive. The Wasura Yuki. Gets the wall break. Yeah, boom. It's gonna be the mix up. Big close S counter hit. And Mugi loses the first round. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see if he's gonna regret his decision though. <laughs> Big Konsetsu again. Ah, look at the damage. Ah, Temu, man. Wow, look at that damage. Ah, Guilty Gear. Ah, Guilty Gear, this uh, Mon dieu. Very nicely done by Atemu. Gets a huge amount of uh, of damage right there. Atemu trying to beat the burst, probably. Big Konsetsu. Ooh, Inatemu getting the punish on the burst. Okay, well, that was a relatively quick first match. Let's see if Mugi wants to stick with Axel or Chain. Axel it is. Okay. You do you, bro. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Inatemu trying to go for the content a little bit too far, but it's okay. Ooh, I almost got the, the, the jump in, though. That would have been pretty funny. Let's see how this pans out. The extending HS. Ah, Mugi trying to go for a grow. A uh, throw, a grow. Or throw. Then Mugi a little bit shy yeah, to throw the Linsen Giki, but the sickle store. Big jump in right there. And Mugi with. Oh! Drops the Axel Bomber though. You hate to see it. Wow, I tell you, man, with them combos, gets the bite. And goes for the DP straight away. And the 6 HS for the kill. Good stuff from Atemu taking a pretty hefty lead, man. If Mugi, if Mugi, if Mugi uh, loses the the next one, I think that he's going to change character. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if it's the case. Let's see how this turns out. Big bar right there from Atemu. Forces the burst on Mugi. And here we go with ooh, an attempt of close-up pressure to Mugi. Gets the knockdown and the follow up with the RC. Atemu refusing to burst and red fully so. Might prefer to keep the burst just in case for the third, uh, the first, uh, the, the, the third round. Big air grab from Mugi, man. The reaction on this man. Very nicely done. And on to the final round. Atemu getting that corner carry combo into the wall break. Wow, nice with punish from Mugi. Almost got the follow up on the sickle storm, the explosion. Oh, here we go with rainwater, but Atemu reading it and jumping straight in, getting the juggle. Uh, Mugi is out of a retention bar and out of burst as well. This is looking pretty bad for him. If he gets sent into the into the corner, big two HS counter hit. Not the normal hit. And this should be enough. Man, that Temu on fire gets the second match as well. I am pretty sure. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I knew that Mugi was going to do this. Okay, guys, I'm going to go uh, take a very quick cup of water and I'll be right back. And here we go, Mugi taking out his main. Let's see if Atemu can actually manage to defeat him with it. Okay, big 2S counter hit. This is looking pretty bad for Atemu. Ooh, Mugi dropping the combo. And look at the damage though, yo. Okay, Atemu really just needs one, one more match and he can send Mugi into loser's bracket. Nice confirmed though from Mugi. Not enough to kill. Yeah, not enough. Almost though. Almost got the corner 
Oh, oh lord. Ah, here we go. The Mugi Train is here. It's your turn to. Yep. Yeah. Ah, nice 2k for the kill. Mugi takes the first round of this third match. Is that team gonna be able to. <laughs> round star DP, of course. Okay, what is going to happen? We shall see. Big Beyblade counter hit right there from Mugi. Couldn't quite get the follow up though. Back to the neutral. I'm trying to get the jump in, but Moogie gets the pressure going. He's gonna get the corner carry and the corner combo. Ooh, big two. Wow, the 2S counter hit. This did a ton of damage. Damn. And not to move. Wow, spending some resources. Really wanting the uh, the corner. Uh, really wanting the wall break. Oh, look. Wow. That was so cool. Oh, no. Oh lord! Yo, Atemu on the verge of sending Mugi in the loser's bracket. What is going on? Ah, okay, here we go. Oh, big Beyblade. Atemu. Oh, big standing HS counter. Uh, this is looking pretty bad, yo. This is looking pretty bad, yo. Yeah, Mugi deciding to burst to, to deny the... The wall break and the uh, positive bonus to Atemu. Atemu with the big jump in though. Okay, here we go with... Oh, the big blade blade. Blade blade. Ah, okay. Atemu trying to look for that YRC, but Mugi isn't really the style to do it. So let's see how this spins out. Ooh, that was funny though. Low. Oh, big blade blade though. Ah, oh, no, you ain't this yet. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Atemu and good stuff from Mugi also finally waking up. But he really was close to getting sent to the loser's bracket, though. I mm, I wager he's probably, uh, he's probably regretting uh, <laughs> choosing, like, Axel during the two first matches. Anyways, here we go. Okay, nice Beyblade right there from Atemu. Atemu on point with the spacing, not going to lie. Getting that for HS, yo. No follow up right there. Isn't it like Atemu's turn once he gets the 6 HS on block? Not quite sure. I need to uh, look at my. Look at the. What's called the trim data. Anyways, we get out of the corner. Working to put Atemu in the other side of the, the, the screen, though. Ah, big counter hit 6 HS into another 6 HS for. The kill and yo, Atemu again on match point. Is he gonna send Mugi and the losers? That would be hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, and here we go with the wild assaults. Wow, almost got the juggle right there. Roar Mugi. Nice confirms from Atemu. He should be able to get the Wasure Yuki. Yes, he will. Wasure Yuki! Okay. Well, Mugi does have a lot of resources. He's about to get the burst. Big YRC. Ah, goes for the bite. And here we go. Oh no! The bait! The big bait. Worst part is that if Atemu didn't commit to the RC specifically at that time, uh, I'm pretty sure Mugi would have exploded. Ah, but he did get the bite before, so it's very possible that Mugi would not have uh, exploded. Okay, nice air to air. Ooh, get the freaking bait on the on the on the tag. That was sick. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the juggle. Goes for the RC extension to get the wall break. Yes, he does. Boombot gets the explosion instead. This is actually pretty bad for him. Yeah. Yeah. Atem just needs to... Uh... Ooh! And Atem saved Mugi in the loser's bracket! <laughs> that is unfortunate. Well, I I warned him, huh? I, uh, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dumb, I'm dumb. My bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, wait, wait. I am dumb. Oh, no, it is. It is finished, right? Isn't it? Isn't it, though? 
I'm pretty sure it's finished, yo. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure it's finished. It's 2 2? Ah, Moogie 1. Okay, my bad, my bad. Thanks, Plag. And, uh, that's my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, uh. <laughs> my bad, guys, my bad. Thanks, thanks, guys, thanks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm not really a wook today. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, anyways, here we go. And Atem. Oh, Lord, it's 2 2. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. And uh, here we go with the final round or the potential match uh, point. Atem, man, look at this. If he takes this one, it's gonna go down to the last round of the last match. Yeah, exactly. It makes me completely. <laughs> he completely mixed me up. And here we go with the chip damage for Atem. It's going down to the last round of the last match. The one who takes this one takes it all. Ooh, the big start of the round with the Wild Assault. Atem is finding the opening. Should be able to get... No, no wall break. Again with the 6 HS and unfortunately... Ooh! Atem exploded. And that would have spelled almost death. Ooh, ah! For Atem, if he had woken up with something else. Here we go with the mix-up. Ah, he tried to go. This is crazy. Ooh, this is... Ah, oh, that was so crazy. Good stuff from... Moogie brings it back from Hayata versus Usui Johnny and yes Usui Johnny is going to use Johnny so let's see most of their interaction most of the results of their um, well their bouts has mostly been Hagiara winning but then again Usui Johnny has been putting a lot of work on Johnny so let's see if he is capable of shifting the tide of battle that being said as you can see I got looking pretty good oh lord Usui Johnny just Throwing hands right there, not a fray. Woo! Nice mixes right there. Making Hagar I think that he was gonna go for a um, aerial misfiner, but indeed not committing to it. And Hagara not wanting to take the risk and not committing to any anti airs And in the end, you see Johnny uh, took this opportunity to land straight on top of Hagara and continue the pressure. Good stuff. Anyways, on to the next round. Nice air to air and nice confirm, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Usi Johnny. Unfortunately for him, gets hit by the Abari from Hagara. Yep. Oh, nice. The delayed Miss Feinerman to throw off the entire timing of Hagara is just really, really nicely thought by Usi Johnny. And here we go. Oh no, you hate to see it. Hagara with the grabs. Gonna go for the schmixes. Tries to go for the grab. Again, but this time around, Usi Johnny takes it correctly. Woo! Big 6P. We see Johnny finally forced to pop the burst. Tries to go for the air to air, but oh, that slide under though. And Hagiara should be able to. Oh, no, not yet. And the pressure is real. That being said, Hagiara did not have any uh, bars, so he wouldn't have been able to use the um the, the buffed uh, how do you call them the buffed uh, minions. Anyways, on to the final round of this first match. Very nice grab, man, on the. That was a sick grab on the um, the wild assault of uh, of Hagara right there, a very brave one at that. And I wonder if it's a thing. If it, if it's a thing, then it's definitely something worth worth uh, worth studying. Again, okay, anyways, oh lord, the minions are real. Okay, Hagara with the trade. Big, big, big two. Uh, it was a 2D counter hit. That was really cool. Very, very clean. Oh, I get out on point, man. You are not jumping on me. That is a state statement right there. I got to try to get their minions out so that they can apply pressure. But you see Johnny doing a very good job of just dispatching them. Dispatching, disposing of them. Yeah. Ah, almost got the jump in. Ah, how you get us in? Nice back dash from Lucy Johnny, not gonna lie. Go with the shoot. Lucy Johnny unfortunately gets getting clipped out of the air. And this should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. First match goes to Usui Johnny. Very nicely done. Let's see if Hagara can bring it back. We shall see. On to the next battle. I get a draws first blood. Ah, goes for the trip. 
for the tick pressure. Ah, and yeah, he's gonna be able to get his... The meta is in. The meta is on. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? I gotta try to get the uh, wall splat and possibly use the wild assault afterwards to get the heavy knockdown. Ah, should be able to get it there. Oh, goes straight into the Elysian driver, so not even uh, necessary for him to use the... Yeah, oh, I almost got the kill, though. Damn, proration is high. And on to... Ah, oh, nice 6p from my get Impossible to to uh, to jump on this dude. Good stuff. First round of the second match goes to Ayara. Now this spins out, and it's back to the minion zoning game, the the, the game that everybody loves. Very good, the Miss Finer. I gotta getting the tick, uh, not the tick, the um, guard point. Wow, <laughs> Lord. You see Johnny almost getting the punish on the tick attempt. But Haya did have some tension bar to make it uh to make it uh safe. Unfortunately for him, he gets his YRC baited and it should be dead. Yes it is. I got straight into the Elysian driver for the kill. Kaboom! Slash indeed. Tekken match goes to Hagiara. Yeah, this comes out. Okie dokie, on with the third match. Big 2S counter hit. Ah, let's see Johnny getting clipped by the minions. Ooh, tries to fake a misfinder and uh, dash into the grab, but Hagara was sniffing it out, was definitely expecting it. Wow, that was sick. You see Johnny with the instant overhead. Another misfinder. Too far to get the follow up with the card though. This is unfortunate for him. And back to the zoning game. Ooh, Usui Johnny almost getting the jump in. And back to uh, the. Ooh! That was an unfortunate, yeah, an unfortunate gift from Musi Johnny. But it still finds just the, it is just the tension bar, which resets after every single round. And here we go, the corner pressure, man. Where are you supposed to press a button? And here we go with Hagiara with the wall break. Gonna get the positive bonus. Oof. Hagiara not afraid to go straight for them grabs. Ah, nice confirm from Lucy Johnny. Thankfully for his card follow up, he was able to get. Um, oh. Oh, here we go. The Roman Kiss almost got the kill. Yeah, with the, the, the minion juggle. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. You see, Johnny is on his last, uh, his last, ah, uh, life. And here we go with the third match won by none other than Hagara. So we definitely seeming to struggle right now with the adaptation of Hagara. Is you see Johnny gonna switch? No, he's not. Sticking to his guns. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the jump in. Nice take from Musui Johnny. Wow. Making a very good use of the uh of the misfinder to dispatch uh, to dispose of the uh, dominion. Oh uh, big side search from Hagara. Not enough to get the wall spot though. And we'll get it this time around. Okay, and here we go with the confirmed into the Roman cancel. Is it enough to kill? It's not. But it one more hit and we see Johnny loses this round. Wow. You see not out of options yet. It's gonna get the yeah. 
Oh, we tried to go for a grab, but I get I had a new RC. Used it at the absolute best moment. Wow. Lucy Johnny forced to pop the burst, but I don't really agree with his decision. Knowing that he only had a pixel of health and Hagela definitely had a lot of life le left and just like this, Lucy Johnny starts the starts this round with absolutely no resources. It might be a little bit complicated for him, we'll see. He gets hit by the minions, unfortunately the harassment is not over. And the pressure is real, man. This uh, Hagata trying to work his way, trying to uh, keep Usi Johnny in the corner, but Usi Johnny making a good job of uh, evading pressure. Got still put in the corner, but it's not after having evaded it for such a long time, and not enough to kill. But oh, okay. Ah. Nice Miss Finer from Usujani, he gets the corner positioning. Wow. Goes straight for the Golden Burst. Unfortunately for him, gets there to air. Ah, big 2k to age. 2k to D, by the way. And one more hit is all that's left. Ooh. Ah, man, Usujani. Ooh, he had the correct, the correct reads, but... Hagata was one step ahead, knowing that he wanted to, uh, that he wanted to, uh, he wanted uh, to be the bur the burst, and just in favor of Axel. I could see why, but I can also see why it could not be in his favor. Yeah, but anyways, we'll see. Let's see how. Uh, probably understand better with the the showcase. And we go back to the neutral. Uh, Amato, yeah, definitely going to use this head to uh, get the explosion. And here we go, the cavalry grazes, grazing Amato. Here we go, the bomb. The bombs are real. But Mugi with the very, very strong pressure right there. Uh, uh, a little bit too late to get the uh, the world, unfortunately for Mugi. That would have been sick if he did. And here we go with the Enzengeki, and so far so good, yo. Mugi actually holding his own. That being said, it can go south real quick. Oh no, he could have gotten the kill. Oh, maybe, actually. Not quite sure. And Amato taking the first round, yo. Let's see how this turns out. Big Axel Bomber. Oof. Mugi be being a little bit too greedy right here. Try to go for another grab. Amato said nope. Ah, speaking of grab. With the rainwater. Oof. Ah, this is gonna do a ton of damage. Yeah. And Mugi taking uh, the second round. Okay, back to the neutral. Nice mix, mix, mix to catch that uh, the back dash for Mugi. Amato with the corner positioning. Tries to go for a mix, mix, six again. Gets hit by the two HS. Oh wow! Nice. Ooh, nice confirm from Moogie, man. Wow, that was sick. They should be fine. Yeah, but Amato had another Roman uh, Ro Roman cancel to safety and was able to see already our first match goes to Moogie. Yeah, so far so good for Moogie, eh? Okay, okay. I thought he really just dabbled a little bit in, uh, in Axel, but yeah. Apparently he plays him pretty good. <laughs> Good stuff from Mugi, let's see how this spins out. Got 
Gonna be right back, guys. Okay, sorry for the wait. Wow. Big 6 HS right there from Mugi. Unfortunately, gets hit by Little Faust protecting his father. Here go with the corner positioning. Amato with the command grab. Gonna get the Afro. Goes for the instant overhead. Gets it straight into the overdrive. The boom. <laughs> I love these faces. Okay, what's gonna be the mix? Wow, empty low into 6p for the kill. Good stuff from Moto. Woo! Big 2d counter hit. We're not getting the follow though. Here we go, the jump in. Moogie pressing buttons. Getting the follow up with the wild assault. That was sick. And here we go with the. Uh, the overdrive. Oh no, Moogie fa failing to get the follow up Axel Bomber. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, little Faust is here. Nice. Follow up from Amato. Gets the corner positioning. Little Faust is here. Might come here to play and comes here to play, but not in time to save Faust. Moogie taking the second match as well. Okay, okay. Nice. Let's see what is Amato gonna do. And here we go with potentially the last match of, uh, of this set. I goes for the low, but Moogie man with the blocks. He is going to get uh, the wall splatten if he gets hit. Nice command draft from Amato. Just content to get some corner pressure. Oh, gets the wick and the fall of sending K for the kill. Get on to the next battle. Mato again with the corner positioning. Nice blocks, but gets hit by the wild assault counter hit. That little Faust is here. Wow, even got the jug, the, the combo off of it. That was sick. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Oh, the YRC. That was an unfortunate timing for the YRC. Unfortunately, gets hit by the explosion of the wig. That was really unfortunate. Okay, nice command grab for Mugi. Gets the side switch. Wow. Oh, the fuzzy axle bomber was sick. Triple overhead right there. Okay, nice rainwater from Mugi. Gonna get the corner positioning. Gets the punish off of the uh, the left scarecrow. Wow, huge dive kick from across the stream, the screen. Hits Mugi for a counter hit. That being said, Mugi still not out of it yet. Wow, not enough to. It is enough to kill Jesus. That was sick! Big battle Caffeine versus Hoshino. So both character loyalists. Caffeine always getting um, very, um, how do you call it, consistent results. Hoshino likewise, in the uh, few tournaments that I have seen him, he's always been quite the, the very strong player. So let's see how this pans out. But yes, uh, there's like a change in, uh, I don't know what they nerfed or what not uh, for for gold Wiz, but basically if you do if you do heavy stroke on gold Wiz with obviously with uh with eno and he blocks it if you follow up with a 2k you're you are always going to beat whatever other options the gold Wiz is going to want to do because if he does standing p 
the 2k is going to low profile the standing p it's gonna hit uh it's gonna hit uh the uh, gold West. if you do if if you st just do 2k because if gold West does so the the 2p is going to low profile if uh the gold West does 2k as well it's going to trade and then if Eno does uh, a follow-up, 6P is going to... 6H, it's going to... Uh, it's going to beat whatever other follow-up uh, the Golos does. If the Golos does 3K, the 2P of Eno is going to, to uh, come out... Um, it's going to come out faster and hit Golos. So there's literally nothing Golos can do after a blocked um, heavy stroke. So I'm saying this to all of my, my Eno brothers. Like... Eight stroke in this matchup is like completely busted. It's like it's like season two, uh, season through uh, season two uh, eight stroke. So uh, yeah, definitely use it against uh, against Goldust. And it's something I just uh, I think it's tickle me more, or it's either Dawn or tickle me more who found this tech, and it's really very very strong against uh, against Goldust. Or maybe it's a Goldust that actually posted it. I, I I don't really remember. But anyways, yeah, just use it. So that being said, first match goes to Caffeine. It's in a pretty convincing manner. Oh lord. And back to the neutral. Well, she's trying to dispatch of all of them minions, and what better way than to use a minigun? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, she's being very, very patient, does not want to overextend. Definitely wary of the guard point. Ooh, lord, that's standing with you, Again with the minigun. It's content to get rid of the minions. Oshino in this time around made it. Wow, made it seem that he was gonna go for a cross up and gets the kill. All you need is one jump in. All you need is one hit. Good stuff from Oshino. And on to the next battle. Wow, using the wild assault man to close the gap between him and his opponent. Wow, almost got a follow up with the berserk. The berserk? The behemoth. The berserk. What the hell? Which attack is that? With the behemoth. Wow, the air to air. Is that death? Wow, the freaking confirms from Hoshino, man. Steals it back. Puts one on the board. One match a piece. Very nicely done by Hoshino. That was sick. That was really, really sick. And on to the next battle. Oh, wait. Where is it? Where is the Sujan? Nice here again. Uh, I was I was checking him in the bracket. Oh yeah, man, this guy is the goat. He's so strong. It's such a strong gold Lewis player. That being said, things are looking pretty swell for Caffeine, going straight into the Elysian Driver for the kill. Driver with a perfect, nevertheless. Very nicely done. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, these are all the battle music of Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Because we heard like number six a little bit earlier. That is my favorite, by the way. I absolutely love Final Fantasy IX. Best Final Fantasy ever. I don't care whatever what what any people say. My favorite Final Fantasy by far. <laughs> anyway, second uh, round goes to Hoshino. Good lord. And here we go with uh, the... Woo. With the corner pressure from Caffeine gets the opening. With the Roman can so gonna go with the fully charged dust for the wall break. Ah. Oh wow, okay, you can actually kill the, the mine using the, the minions. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad for for uh for Gold Lewis. That being said, here we go with Caffeine using the RC. Gets a grab. And ooh, Caffeine with all them schmixes. Ooh, gets jumped on though. Is that gonna be enough to kill? Oh! Caffeine delaying a little bit his uh. Oh no, this is bad. Ooh, the big 6 me Lord, that was sick. The con. Firm from Oshino, seeing that he got a counter hit off of a 6P and immediately using the uh, the uh, the behemoth to get the kill. That was sick. He was so far to, I mean, uh, Caffeine was so far, but still managed to get hit by it. That was pretty good. Nice confirm. So good. Good stuff from Oshino. And on to the next battle. And here we go with Caffeine. Definitely not happy with how the previous uh, match turned. 
Oh no, too far to get the wall break. Ooh, that was a pretty scary backdash. Oh, and Catherine trying to get the shimmy right there, but a little bit too far to get the punish. Ah. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're getting back here. <laughs> well, you know, using the, the, side, the side switch in order to keep Catherine in the corner. Here we go with... Oh, Lord! Nice! TOD to catch the backdash. Good stuff, Caffeine. Still not out of this yet. Oh, man. And Caffeine catching these backdashes, man. Okay, Caffeine is in. He's got the corner positioning. Gonna go straight for the wall... Uh, the uh, wild assault. Big TOD count hit. And this should be enough. Yes. Okay, Caffeine puts one on the board. Another one, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two matches apiece and with a perfect nevertheless. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Final match of this set. Who is going to send the other one home? We shall see. Start of the round with Gold Burst from Caffeine. Uh, and here we go with Caffeine. Oh, Lord! Good stuff from Caffeine finds the opening with the 2k. Oh lord. Ah, oh, that guard point though, you hate to see it. Caffeine with the conversion straight into the Legend Driver should be able to kill thanks to the wall break, and he does. With a perfect hit again. Isn't that the second perfect in like a row? That was sick. Yeah, but it can really go either way. Ah, Caffeine with. Oh lord! Ah, nice grab right there from Caffeine. That being said, Hoshino got the gold burst. It's rid of, of the minion. Almost got the jump in the... Ooh, big 6P. Hello, 6P. Here we go, the side switch. Ooh, the cross-up, I'm sorry. Ah, Hoshino getting hit by the minion. Ooh, forcing Hoshino to pop the burst. Not over till it's over. Goes for the... Ooh, Lord. Nice well assault right there from Hoshino. That was definitely a... Ah, yeah, the pressure is real. Ooh, you dead. You dead. Bye bye. <laughs> Good stuff from Hoshino. Not out of it yet. This is the final round of the final match. Who's going to take it? Who's going to send the other one home? Wow. Hoshino, man, with the, yeah, with the patience, knowing that the guard, uh, the, the point, the point guard, the point guard was coming and just held it as he should. Oh, here we go, the behemoth. Nobody home. That was a big behemoth. It's, yeah, one more hit is enough. Uh, not enough. Enough to kill. Damn, Hoshino sending caffeine home in a very forward to uh, the following match. And if you guys want to have more info regarding Tataka Tuesday, I think I have a box set up for it. I do. Perfect. So all of the details are written in there. I encourage you guys to check it out. It's a very, very fun tournament, offline tournament in Japan, which takes place at uh, Red Bull, how do you call it? Uh, Red Bull Gaming Sphere, so in Tokyo. And yeah, we have a very large community over there and I often go there and there's one uh, Tatakai Tuesday planned for tomorrow, which is going to be streamed on Giuna's channel, so Anime Illuminati. So yeah, I encourage you to just check it out. You might see me play on stream, I don't know. We'll see, depends on my performance. But yeah, uh, just check it out if you can, if you want as well, and uh, that's about it. Anyways, back to the match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, here we go to take pressure from Cal. And Cal is also... Uh, why am I speaking about that guy Tuesday? It's because Cal is also uh, a common... Uh, not a common... Uh, um, a recurrent uh, participant, a participant in both Tatakai Tuesday and my own tournament. So the Brojo Cup and also uh, Tatakai Tuesday. So hopefully we'll see him tomorrow as well. I'm not quite sure who participates tomorrow. I'm going to check it out real quick. With the link I sent. Let's see. Ah, but yeah. Okay, I need to update the links. I'm sorry, guys, because it's not Giuna who makes the funnel now page anymore it's mothman so let me send you the uh yeah uh let me send you the uh updated link because not nah, th this link is not updated anymore let me check here you go this is the real link my bad this one's the real link 
yeah, just check it out if you can. It's a very fun tournament. Um, that's about it. Who's gonna participate to this? Oh. We have Gil, we have Mothman, we have Zell, Joda as well, very strong players. Yeah, uh, anyways, back to the match. Uh, first round went to Cow, also very nicely done, as expected. Here we go with the Bandit Bringer, and just as I say, commentary cursed. Roy takes the second round, so we have a round apiece, a tie, ladies and gents. Very good Cal, not afraid to go with the overhead. Ooh, gets the take pressure. Goes for the 6 HS, not afraid. Ooh. And Roy just casually running out of the corner. Ooh, big close this counter. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Not gonna kill by any means, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Boom! All things considered. Here we go with the safe jump. Woo! And Roy. Ooh, Cal. No! The double bait on the burst. Roy takes the first round pretty convincingly. Not going to lie. But it was it was it was very well played by Cal already. Managed to get a round already, so it's actually pretty good. So let me check the brackets real quick. Pretty good. Things are going pretty good. I think we're gonna be able to finish relatively quickly this uh, today. Uh, because the first couple of matches actually went really, really fast, like 3-0, 3-0, and then I think we had like a 2-3-1 a or something. So it's actually going pretty fast. Let's see how this turns out. Big 6-P right there from Cal. Man, this man is not afraid. Gonna get the juggle, gonna get the wall break with the Wasuri. No! Well, it's fine. Oh, 6 HS. Oh, Lord. Oh, getting the freaking 2K to the Ashibarai. <laughs> Good stuff from uh, Cal gets the first ooh, the first round of the second match. No 6p there, but the 6p here. <laughs> yeah, here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Too far to get the hit, but manages to get the 4s counter hit and a big 6s counter hit as well. Cal gets the grab to get the side switch. Tries to go for the command grab, but Roy said no. I know what you want to do. Yeah, Roy is... Uh, Roy is very, very hard to read on Wake Up. And Roy, Roy has a very high tendency of getting the correct choice on Wake Up all the time. <laughs> like, he's either he's usually either gonna go for Bagdash or DP. And his uh I, I won't say his guess, but his read uh his read percentage is really really high. His read success rate is very very high. Uh, and it's and you might think that he like DPs a lot and stuff, but he DPs on very very nice occasions when he really reads the aggressiveness, the aggressivity, and the frustration from his opponent. And that's the reason why most people get always get hit by his wake up DP. <laughs> it's crazy. I know I do. Anyways, here we go with Roy going with the uh, MT low mix up gets the second round, the second match as well. Let's see if Cal can even things out by shifting the tides of battle and the momentum. Here we go with round start with the DP. Oh, Kado trying to go for the command grab, but too far. Too late. Okay, again Kado. Ooh, with the 6 HS. Gets the corner positioning. Goes for the front Fukio. Roy not, uh, not expecting it. Ooh, this is death. Yeah, this is death. Bye bye. Yeah, good stuff from... Roy! Roy already on match point. Actually, this match went very quick <laughs> as well. Okay, let's see if Cal can uh, can bring it back. Big 6 HS right there off of the two uh, the standing P counter hit. Let's see how this fans out. Nice jump in. Too far to get anything else though. Cal going straight for the uh, dust. Tap dust. Content to just keep Roy in the corner. Doesn't want to overextend. His blood gauge is steadily, yeah, steadily rising. He needs to be careful though. Ooh, that was a big counter hit. What is the mix again with the two S counter hit, man? Big, big, big. Oh lord! Big pressure. Wow. Nice use of the reflect shield right there from Cal. Was able to get uh, with punish follow up before, before, since uh, Roy didn't expect it. And here we go, the close-up pressure. Roy forced about the burst. Nice. A bar right there from Cal. Cal getting hit by the DP. 
Uh, no punish right there on the bandit bringer. You hit this yet? Ooh, this is gonna be big. Uh, is this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> oh, Cal was on the verge of blood raging, man. That was crazy. Look at his blood game. That is crazy, man. He literally, like, had one pixel of blood and he would have died. Cal, don't, don't, Fukio. Ah, uh, this is death, anyways. No, no, it's not. Woo! Uh, yeah, ooh, Lord the Brows! The blocks! I almost thought he was gonna be able to block everything, but good. This is Johnny versus Hoshino. Down, 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 down. On to the next battle. This is the loser's bracket. This is the last match of the loser's bracket before the semifinals, I think. Uh, nope, we still have one more after this one. That's, that's fine. Okie dokie. So give me just one second, guys. Good stuff from what she don't take the first round. Here we go with system of a down. <laughs> well, down with the system, but it's the same. And it was big six period there from Hoshino forcing. We see Johnny to pop the burst. Nice juggle right there from Hoshino takes the first match. Pretty convincingly not going to lie. See if Usui Johnny can bring it back. We shall see. <laughs> Start the round with the Wild Assault, of course. Why not? And the mix is here. Need to hold it again, man. Ooh, again with the overhead. Ah, let's see Johnny forced to pop the burst, unfortunately for him. Ah, here we go with the oh with the guard break. Johnny force too. Yeah. Respect the pressure. System! Ooh, this did a ton of damage though. Ooh, too far to get the, the, the grab though. That was really unfortunate. Here we go with the Miss Finer. Ooh! Using the overdrive to get rid of the mine. That was in that was genius from me. Uh, but again, here we go with the mine, everybody's favorite tool. Here we go with the overhead. Ooh, and the freaking shimmy. Damn, Hoshino with the shimmies, yo. That was sick. Good stuff from Hoshino. Here we go with the grab. Uh, here we go with uh, the, the cross up. It really seems like it is the case, right? I wasn't aware. And the recovery is actually pretty, uh, it's actually not too bad. Because he sent it, while Lewis was in the uh, was in the air already. He had the time to to throw the overdrive, kill the, the mine, and recover uh, quickly enough for, uh, before Hoshino jumped on him. So that was actually, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, not, that's not a bad overdrive in my opinion. Nothing to write home about though, but it, se it still seemed pretty useful. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure. Let's see Johnny again with the corner pressure. Ooh, gets the the ooh the low miss finer and the far. I suppose the HS into the kill. I think it destroys secret. No, it goes through it. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. But uh, then again, it has this property of like being an anti-projectile. And since I suppose since the uh, the mine is also an anti-projectile, if they clash, it just ends up nullifying each other i suppose that's how it plays because yeah i know that uh yeah i i i do know that the um that his is his overdrive does go um, just uh, definitely goes through other projectiles but then again he uses bar to 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 do it so i feel like it's only normal but sacred edge is also as you said it's um uh yeah it's a super yeah so yeah it's only normal that it, it actually uh, clashes out but what, what I'm surprised is that even the mine of Gold Lewis can tank it and uh, like nullify it. I feel like it's not fair. <laughs> but then again, yeah, Gold Lewis is pretty pretty bad during this season, so I feel like taking more of his tools away would not be fair for for, for the character. 
But then, yeah, I'd like if he'd stayed like like how he is right now. Because I really, really, really did not like Gold Lewis in Season 2. Right now in Season 3, it seems like he's, yeah, he's... He's uh, below average, but at least he's funnier to play against. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense, but... Anyways, here we go with the third match. And Hoshino you know, running a train right now, man. El Sui Johnny definitely looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. It's not the, it's never really, really easy fighting against Hoshino you know, because I like the pressure from both players. Yeah, me too, me too. But, uh, yeah. Now the pressure of, uh, of, uh, Johnny and... Uh, of Johnny, of Usi Johnny and Hoshino are really, really good. Hey, uh, this is... Ooh, too far to get you. Ooh, very nice. Un uh, that awareness from Usi Johnny. Knowing that Hoshino was gonna swing that behemoth and uh, right after backdashing, immediately front dashing right away to get the punish. Woo! And straight into the overdrive. Is that gonna kill? Yes, it is. Damn. Okay, Usi Johnny not out of this yet. Puts one round on the board. Let's see how this spins out. That was a sick combo, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It was really, really nicely done. The, a nice confirm because yeah the combo i don't know if he does it like consistently but i'm like about 75 percent sure he did it on the fly his conversion was really sick yeah good stuff from johnny from usi johnny very nicely done unfortunately for him he is sent out of the turn the next battle this is the last uh, match of the loser side of the bracket before the loser semi-final after this one we'll move on to the winner's final and then the loser semi-final, the loser's final, and then the grand final. Let's see who is going to take today's tournament, shall we? So who are you guys betting on? Who do you think is going to take the tournament tonight? I'm a teal. I should be impartial, but I am still going to give my opinion. <laughs> I personally think... Okay, so who's... Uh, okay, the remaining players are Hagiara, Mugi, Amato, Roy, and Hoshino. I personally think Hagiara is going to take it, personally. Just because he's been so consistent these days. But anyways, it's just my opinion. And that being said, here we go with the start of the match. Roy trying to get the empty grab. Yo, Cal, how are you doing, bro? Thanks for the raid and much appreciated. Much love, much love, man. How was your stream? And here we go with the corner pressure. Ooh, Roy. Ooh, getting the OTG for the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see if Amato can shift the tide of battle. We shall see. Yo, Grinning Oni, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated, man. And here we go with the Gunflame. Amato getting hit by that, by that lovely forest. We're going with the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the Wild Assault for the Heavy Knockdown. Unfortunately, mistimes his meaty the follow-up and gets grabbed by Amato. Amato with the corner positioning. Ooh, big banded. Oh, big banded bringer right there. But fortunately for Amato, he had the uh, little Faust to save him. Wow, man. And again, man. Roy with the perfect positioning. Getting the first match. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle, hopefully. We'll see. Yes, we are. Tomato, mm, very first, conv very convincing first match by uh, Ibushi Gin Roy. But that being said, Amato is no stranger to the uh, to this uh, matchup. Not much, just three fighter six grind now, sending the boys to watch drive forever. Thanks, Caliber, again for the rate. Much appreciated, much love. Let's see how this pans out. Amato having the meteor, unfortunately for him, gets hit right there. Not trusting. Oh no! And Roy reading that command grab attempt. Gonna get the corner positioning. Goes for the Fafnir. Oh lord! Woo! Roy pressing some mighty buttons right here. Not afraid of the mix, mix, mix. And gets the kill. With the RC follow up. Let's see how this pans out. On to the. Ooh! That big 6P counter hit right off the start of the, of the match. <laughs> wow. Man, I swear, to, I swear, man, Roy loves MVPs. That being said, Amato always on point when it comes to uh, to popping that grab. Nice to us. Right there from Amato to get the knockdown, but Roy, man, already back in his face. Goes for the mix-ups. Be able to get the wall break. Yes, he is. 
Goes for the Wild Assault, because why not? Your boy has... Oh, possibilities right here. Nice with punish, man. That was sick. Beautiful with punish. With the RC follow-up into the kill for Roy. Taking the lead 2-0. A pretty hefty one at that. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, Amato taking his sweet time. And rightfully so. I mean, he needs to, uh, you know, process what's going on and hopefully find a, a strategy to shift the tide of battle. Get back to the neutral, man. And Amato having a lot of problems trying to get in right now. That little Faust is out. This is the perfect opportunity to get the command grab, of course. It's... Oh, the, no! Amato dropping the combo he had. He had the burst bait right there, but didn't believe in it. But it's fine. He still has the wig pressure right now. Wow, there's so much stuff going, going on on the, on the match. Nice stuff from Amato. Swallowed that bomb hole. Didn't give an F. Ah, big counter hit right there. Should be able to get the kill. And he does. Mato not out of this yet. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the mix, mix, mix. Into another mix, mix, mix. Ah, Lord. Troy with the forest, man. Not afraid. Yeah. And here we go with the tick pressure. Roy with the grab. Goes for the safe jump. Again with the tick. Ah, um, that bag dash though. Oh, okay, nice. Amato using the invincibility frames of his overdrive in order to get a wake up and make his opponents attack with. Ooh, Amato finally getting one of them DPs. Ah, uh, this is bad. Yeah, big, 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 big 6, six HS. 6, six uh, P. And Amato not popping the burst because knowing that Roy was baiting for it, and rightfully so. Preferring to keep his burst for this current round. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Wild Assault, again with the Wild Assault. And Amato getting the command grab, wanting that wig. Ooh, getting the freaking follow-up straight into the overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. Nice conditioning from Amato. What is the mix? Ooh, and it is the command grab. Ooh, Lord. Good stuff. From Amato. Finally putting one on the board. Okay. Good stuff from him. Let's see if he can continue this uh continue this path. We shall see. And on to the next battle. Woo. Big gun right there from Roy. Oh. Ah. Amato getting the little Faust. Again with the Bandit Bringer, forcing Amato to pop the burst. And here we go with the juggle from Amato. Uh, really wanting that, that wall break. Little Faust is here to... Ooh, big thing saved. Wow, that was a sick teleport. Should be enough to kill. It w yeah, it should, yeah. Thanks to the RC. And Amato bringing stuff back, man. Very nicely done. Ooh. Here we go with the Bandit Revolver. Man, Roy with the freaking DP, not afraid of anything. We're definitely not wanting to get eliminated. Go straight into the Tyrant Raid. It was going to be the mix up. Ooh. Amato trying to wake up 6P, but no. No, it doesn't work there, sir. And here we go with. Amato trying to push Roy in the corner. Ooh, I saw a trumpet. Did I? I'm, I must have seen things. Okay, Amato first pop the burst. Gets the jump in. Oh, gets hit by the Farzu. Again, and yeah, should be able to get the juggle. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Wild Assault 40. Uh, guaranteed hard knockdown. Oh, Lord. Roy catching, getting that. Uh, the Vortex condition, do. Roy taking it 3 2 one. Not searching to make the complete shift towards uh, towards Axel. That would make me really sad. But we'll see, we'll see. And on to the next battle. Agata versus Mugi. Duel 1, Duel one indeed. Let's see how this spins out. 
Okay, Moogie drawing first blood. Ah, probably using Axel for the Jacko match. So probably. That would make sense, I guess. Ooh, here we go to side switch. Moogie getting the grab, goes for the jump in. No 6P. Well, no entire at least. Ah, yeah. And hi, yeah, man. With the corner pressure, gets the grab. Ooh, no more. No more. Ooh, that freaking... I hate this move so much. But it's fine, it's fine. The, um, the, the guard point. Yeah. Guard point, which lasts for freaking ever. <laughs> Anyways, here we go to wall break with using the wild assault. And I got going with the tap dust into the Roman cancel, into the kill. Good stuff from Hagara. Gets the first match, uh, the first round. Let's see if Mugi can bring it back. We shall see. And the Sickle Storm is back on track. Ah, okay, finally Mugi getting the jump in. Gets the Axel Bomber. Gets the close S. Almost got the follow up combo again, man. Afraid of uh, not getting, I think, the confirm. Uh, of the wall splat, I guess, I suppose, that's the reason why he, you can see not finishing his combos or whatnot. Or maybe not knowing exactly what's the distance at which the snail would hit on the follow-up. I really don't know, it's one or the other. Here we go, the jump in, and the Axel Bomber 40, guaranteed, heavy knockdown. And Moogie, ooh, getting hit, though. I get almost getting the juggle, but he's got the corner position, which is definitely better than nothing. And here we go, the ah, wall splat into the Elysium! Driver! Good stuff from Hayara. Look at the damage, too, man. Ah, yeah. You can see Mugi. Uh, Hayara wondering whether or not. Ooh! Then here we go. Ah, uh, he didn't have enough bars in order to roman cancel though that one more hit was all that was required Mugi unfortunately getting chipped damage right at the end first match goes to hagiara see how this pans out and on to the next battle i get it with the juggle and the otg gets the wall break And with the juggle, I gotta get the corner positioning. Probably trying to bait that that burst or something. Gets the perfect. What a statement. Oh, Moogie forced to pop the burst. Ah, the spacing of Hagara though. And here we go with the. Minion pressure, Hagara should use his overdrive right now, I think. Ah, I couldn't quite get the juggle though, this is unfortunate for him. Good lord. We go to, wow, nice air, nice air, um, how do you call it, I forgot, the water, waterfall, there you go, waterfall is it? I think it is. And Moogie again getting hit by the, <laughs> that freaking guard point, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Rainwater, it's not water. I'll put it in my talking about rainwater, rainwater. <laughs> ah, 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 Moogie making the switch to none other than Nagoriyuki. Probably. I'm betting it is. Yeah, so far so unfortunate. But it's fine, it's fine. So Moogie, one more chance. If he has to make a comeback. He needs to do three wins in a row. Let's see if uh, this man can make it happen or if he'll be sent to the loser's bracket. We shall see. And on to the next battle. Right off the start of the match. Using the Wild Assault. Almost got the Wall Splat. That would be pretty good for him. Ooh. I got getting the juggle. Big counter hit right there from Mugi goes straight into the Roman Council for added damage. 
Thank you, block. Yeah. Nice stuff from Moogie. And you should be able to get the... No, not enough to kill. But it's still fine. Moogie with the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to go with Moogie in the command grab. Gets the corner positioning. Ah. Ooh, no, this is... You hate this hit. I get out trying to go for the fully charged dust. Nice close test counter hit straight into the Elysian Driver. This is gonna do a ton of damage, yeah. Again, man, Hagiara with the freaking the shimmies, man. Ah, and a regular 2P for the kill. Good stuff. Hagiara on match point is he gonna be able to eliminate Moogie? Well, not eliminate him, but send him in the loser's bracket, we shall see. Big command grab right there from Moogie. Ah, uh, going ham, going completely ham. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Go straight into the Wasureyuki. The Forgotten Snow. What is gonna be the... Oh Lord! Moogie trying to go for the overhead and... I got a blocked it, fortunately for him. But that being said, Moogie finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he's capable of doing three wins straight. We shall see. Moogie definitely not wanting to go in the loser's bracket. Especially with the amount of killers that, is, that are waiting for him there. Again, man, with the Wild Assault going, cutting straight through the minion, but also through Jacko. Here we go to jump in. Ooh. Uh. Okay, here we go, Moogie, dispatch of all of the minions. Tries now to make his way into... Ooh, no 6P. Big, ex ah, big standing H as though it was really, really big. Nice confirm from Moogie. Ah, that being said, Hayala, ooh, going for the tap dust. Not enough to kill. Not nearly enough. Oof, the checks though. And <laughs> Lord, that well this salt actually works pretty good. Oh, and Moogie with a follow-up overhead gets the kill. And yeah, Moogie just one round away from a tie. That would do very good for his morale if he manages to do it. So let's see. Yeah, boom! Okay, here we go with the Wasure Yuki. I got gonna eat a ton of damage off of this as well. Good lord. Ah, panic burst right there from Hagala. Ah. Tries to get the grab, but man, Mugi has been on on point when it comes to uh to taking. And goes straight for the tap dust for the kill. Mugi puts another one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Is Mugi gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Again with the bites. Yeah, I get a not expecting these as at all. I get a stalked in the corner, man. He's been stuck in the corner for so long. Ooh. Big 6P right there for, uh, from uh, from I get a gonna get the wall break. And the checks from Hagiara. Ah, he's gonna get hit by the... Yeah, what's it Aiki? Boom! Is that gonna kill? I think it is, yeah. Yes, it is. Damn! Mugi on match point! Holy freaking lord, bring it back! Let's see if he can manage to seal the deal. We shall see. Here we go with the grab. Command grab. Okay. And the grab from Hagiara. Ah, Mugi forced to pop the burst. Goes for... Beyblade to close the gap right away, catches the back dash with the standing S. Gonna get the wall break. Ah, big 6P. Ooh! We could have won it right there if he Roman can't soul. Oh, and this should be it! Moogie makes his way to the grand finals. 
Hoshino versus Ibushigin Roy. Let's see how this pans out. Hmm. Here we go with the cross up. Ooh, big far S counter hit from Roy. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the follow up. And Hoshino going for the great big cross up. Those sick. Gets hit by the mine. Forced to pop the burst. Here we go with the gun flame. Big six S counter hit though. We'll do uh, quite the amount of. Uh... Ah. Ooh, the big behemoth. You dead. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I thought I was going to wake up with a freaking DP. Nice 6B. Nice, nice uh, YRC bait right there from Hoshino. Gets the kill. Damn, that was sick. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Roy gets the first hit, but gets grabbed, unfortunately. Hoshino trying to bait that, that DP, as most of us are. Ah, big closest counter hit. This is going to do a ton of damage. Goes for the safe jump. He's got the corner positioning. Goes for the repeated, relentless pressure. Yeah, but Roy afraid of the mine, obviously. Everybody is. Goes for the Vortex follow-up. Should be able to get that wall splat. Yes, he is. What's the mix-up? Okay, finally, we should first pop the bird. Uh, pop the URC. And get the corner positioning. And the mine. The mine, though. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Woo! And that was a very unfortunate burst. Hoshino takes the first match, yo. Okay, okay, I see you. Hoshino in, in top shape today, you know? He's been playing very good today. Extremely good. I don't even recall who sent him the losers. I think he was sent the losers relatively quickly. But he's been playing like out of his mind ever since. Let's see, Hoshino. Uh, actually, we didn't see his first match. It was against uh, Usui John. So we didn't see him... Um, fall in the, the losers but he's been working all his way uh up from uh from the losers bracket and that being said look at oh nice back dash though soon with the side switch that's part to get the behemoths to hit though and here we go with the bandit bringer for the wall break wow big behemoths to catch the back dash attempts from roy Ah, good stuff from uh, from Oshino. Gets the wall break. Not enough to kill though. Ooh. That torpedo and straight into the wild assault for the kill. And Oshino, man, playing very good. Ah, uh, that freaking behemoth. Ooh, this is gonna do a ton of damage. This is going to do a ton of damage. No overdrive and 60% of the life already gone. Hell. Here we go to take pressure. Oh! I almost got the jump in though. That was an unfortunate YRC. Big bait on the YRC. Ah, too far to get the overhead behemoth to, to, to connect though. This is unfortunate for him. Roy deciding to keep his tension bar. Ooh, catching the bag dash. This is bad. And it should be enough. One round piece. Roy is one round away from buying everything. Wow, big counter hit on the... Oh no! And Roy getting hit on his wake up, you hate to see it. Big round of the system, not enough to kill. Ah. He should be able to get the juggle, he does. Look at the damage. This is crazy. Especially since Dickinson like has... Ooh, ooh. Save jump or not? I thought it was a save jump though. What the hell? That was strange. And Oshino, man. Uh, didn't Oshino take the first round? I think. I think he did, yeah. He 
You take the first match, not 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 Roy. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Hoshino took the first the first uh, match as well. But anyways, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Oh, big six speed though. Oh, here we go to cross a beam as well, and the fake cross egg man. Damn, Hoshino man, getting everything in. Ah, uh, too far to get the behemoth, but gets the grab off of the six S. And just like this, yo, Hoshino on match point, yo. That's crazy. On the verge of eliminating Roy. Oh! Ah, that being said, this time around, advantage to Roy. Big 6P from Hoshino. Not afraid. Gets the cross up. Ah, that being said, though, this is big for Roy. I don't see Hoshino bursting here, though. Probably wants to secure it for the next round. Goes for the wild assault. Ah, dad. Yeah, it's fine. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Definitely hold it, Hoshino. Definitely hold it. Don't use it. Okay, good. One more chance. Uh, but this is gonna be required as a mother humper. If Hoshino could at least get the the burst from, nah, you shouldn't. Nah, Roy's not gonna give you your your burst. <sighs> Big vortex catches a Hoshino off guard. You hate to see it. And on to the final round and potential match point of this encounter. Ooh, big grab! I think that was a DP, by the way. Ooh, Lord! Ah, we're gonna jump in! But, man, Roy always on point when it comes to anti-ring people. There goes the bandit revolver. Yeah, catches the bag dash, man. Ah, <laughs> good stuff from Roy. Big wall break from Roy on the verge of uh, tying everything down, and he does. Two, uh, actually no, one, one match for Roy. Still needs two more if he wants to uh, make his way to the losers final. Let's see if he can. We shall see. On to the next battle. And here we go with uh, the cool sub pressure. Uh, yeah, oh Lord, the pickup from Hoshi was godlike. Very nice juggle from uh, from Hoshi. That was really, really well played. Duel two. Let's rock. Here we go with the gun flame. Roy getting that wall break. Right, here we go with the mix-ups. Hoshino. Ooh, Lord. Almost got a clean punish on this one, though. Ah, too far to get the follow-up behemoth. You hit to see it. And just like this, Roy, man. Should be able to take the... Damn, we're going on to the last round of the last match, man. This is pretty big, not gonna lie. Good Lord. And here we go with the drop. Ooh. Nice grab from Goldie. And ooh, Koshino, you know, man. Damn, we've only had uh, Japanese participants on stream during this tournament. It is actually pretty. Uh, uh, it's uh, unusual because we have more, uh, more international representation as well on the Bros. But it's fine, it is fine, it is what it is. Okay, anyways, here we go with the next. The next. Uh, wait one second, guys. With the next battle! Okay, we're good to go. Ooh, Lord! And Hoshino looking pretty good at the start. That being said, Hagira has their minions out, and you hate it when they do. Ooh, okay. Okay, getting rid of all of the 
of all of the uh, the minions and at the same time putting Hagala in the corner. That was a genius, genius idea right there. Using the um, the second uh, overdrive of Gold Wiz to do so. Oh, yeah, here we go, the juggle. I gotta have having to pay attention to the minions. Using the minigun to dispatch them all at the same time. Is that the second time that these two guys fight against each other? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. And it's driver! No, it's not. No no. I I'm I'm I was capping. It's uh caffeine played against caffeine earlier, I think. Uh, that being said, second round to Hagyara. Who tries to go for the Wild Assault? But Hagyara was already in the air when it happened, which is unfortunate. And here we go. The nah, minions are out. Did they nerf his 2P? It seems like it. It seems like uh, it has less priority than before. Ah, the mine is out. Oh, the big close chase counter hit. Oh, say goodbye to the life. Say goodbye to your health. Look at the damage. Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Good freaking lord! That was sick! Not enough to kill them. Ooh! Almost got the kill though. That was sick. Damn, man, that combo though. It is him! Driver! But not enough to kill, thankfully. That being said, uh, Fulcino has to. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, this is actually pretty bad. Ooh, but the jump in for the kill! And Hoshino, man, taking the first match, yo. Okay, okay. We see you. Oh, yeah, because Hoshino did defeat uh, Caffeine, who is another very strong Jackal player. If I'm correct, I, I really need to rewatch re exactly, but I think it's the case. Yes, he did. Hoshino did eliminate uh, uh, Caffeine earlier today, and Caffeine is very, very strong as well, so... Definitely not a stranger to the Jackal matchup, or else he wouldn't have been able to eliminate them. So let's see how he fares against Hag yeah, Hagira for now. He's got the life, uh, not the life, he's got the um, the lead score-wise, but things are pre looking pretty dire for him in the corner right now, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the, oh good lord, nice grab from Hagira. And gets the wall break for the kill, with a perfect by the way. Very strong statement right there. Ah, uh. uh, is that the Nair Gigante? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the Nair Gigante from Monster Hunter. I was, I was wondering, where did I hear this? Well, of course, I. Well, most of the songs I have in my playlist, I, I, I know where they come from, but. I had a brain fart that I couldn't remember. Is that, is that gonna kill? Uh, it's gonna kill. I'm like, boom! Damn, the damage, though. Damage output of Goldie is really, really good. Anyways, on to the final round of this uh, current match. Let's see if Hoshino can de seal the deal. Oh, too far for the uh, for the behemoth right there. And unfortunately for him, he's gonna get side switched. But Hoshino had the minigun at least to get rid of pesky annoyances. Again with the minigun. Ah, goes for the wild assault uh, and gets air grab. Damn. I got on point, yo. Yeah, here we go with the tick pressure in the corner. I got us straight into the illusion driver. Okay, what's gonna be the mix? Ooh. Oh, here we go with lock, uh, lock and load. I forgot the name of this overdrive. Target and destroy. Seek and destroy. I think it's called Seek and Destroy, it would make sense, it would be a Metallica song. I'm not quite sure if it's Seek and Destroy or go, but... Okay, anyways, here we go with Hagiara putting one on the board, let me check his overdrive's name. I think it's Seek and Destroy. I feel like, I feel like it would make sense, it would make a, be a direct reference of a... of a Metallica. Gold Lewis. That's Luke. Let me check. Seek and Destroy. Searching. Where are you? And it is called... Ah, burn it down. Okay, well, it has nothing to do. I feel like Seek and Destroy would be... Would be more adequate. But I think there's another move called Seek and Destroy in the game. 
Which is probably one of the reasons why they couldn't give it to, uh, to Globalist. Anyways! Uh... Here we go with the corner positioning. Once again! Our favorite spot in the Jackal matchup. And, ooh, nice read from Hoshino, seeing that Hagera definitely wanting that. And getting the side switch in the in the process without using a single bar of uh, tension. That was sick. Look at the damage, though. Good lord. We got the, the Wild Assault, goes for the overhead, goes for another overhead. Ooh, and gets the bait. Oh, is it? No. Seriously? She can destroy? Okay, okay, let me let me check this. Is that the uh it's not the um how do you call it the um the wheelchair, right? It's the other one, right? No way! Why? It doesn't make sense. Let me check real quick. I need to see which one it is. Uh Faust. Bone crushing excitement and what could this be? And ah, joking. Okay, uh, I'm a very gullible man. <laughs> I'm very, very gullible. So, yeah, if it, <laughs> I'm gonna trust every single thing that everybody tells me. Ah, too bad. But I heard. I'm sure there's a seek and destroy reference somewhere. I don't know what it is. If, if it's a move name, if it's uh, if it's like a, I don't know, a gimmick of a character or something. But I feel like, like the 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 name seek and destroy is something. It's it's something somewhere in Guilty Gear. I forgot what though, but anyways. That being said, here we go with Hagar and the Wall Break. Oh lord, yeah, getting hit by the behemoth. He cannot backdash on this dude. Not when he has bar. Woo! No! Not quick enough in order to get the uh what's called the um the name. The the punish on this. But here we are again in the corner getting the shimmy though. Hagera putting uh, one round on the board. Wow, Hagera noticing right away that he was going to get... Going to get wild assaulted. It sounded very bad. But anyways, uh, here we go with Hagera in the corner. Getting the tab dust into the Roman cancel. Into the Elysian driver. For the hard knockdown. Was going to be the mix. If mix there is. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, nice decision from Oshino to get rid of uh, of that pesky little... Uh... Oh, good lord. Ooh, lord. And here we go with... Oh, no. Hagera getting 6 speed right there. Uh, not, not Hagera. Getting the 6 speed and therefore uh, 6 speed in Oshino. Ah, oh, no, it's okay, Midnight. Don't worry, man. It's fine, it's fine. No worries, no worries. I'm gonna check it out later by myself, so it's fine, but thanks, thanks. Okay, anyways, on to the next battle. Oh lord, far K, standing K for the opening. Damn, we are on the, yeah, that's the last match actually. The person who takes this match is going to have a shot back at Mugi, so let's see who is gonna be able to do so. Here we go, the juggle, Hagata with the wall break. Woo! Big 6 speed, but too far to get the follow-up here to see it. Ah, the mine is out. Oh, but gets... I uh, got completely destroyed by the... By the shield of, uh... Of the... the what's it called? Of the minion. Ah, uh, here we go. Almost got the cross-up, though. You get to see it. Go with the minigun. And Hagala is back on track. Gonna get the Elysian Driver. No! I just wanted to reset. Go straight into the Elysian Driver in order not to give... The time to Oshino to ponder whether or not he wanted to burst, he will not have the opportunity to. So, set point for Hagara. Let's see if he's going to be able to take it or if Oshino is going to to pummel him with his uh, his coffin. We shall see. Whew, almost got the air tier. Yeah, ah, too far for the ah, oh, too far for the uh, the behemoth. And again, man, you hate to see it. Ah, this is looking pretty bleak. Ooh! Destruction! Ooh, that was the correct read. Good stuff. No 6 feet. Yeah, uh, unfortunately for Oshino, he's right back where he was. Oh, but at least he got the trade. Ah, uh, but yeah. And you have to hold it. 
I have to hold it as well. Oh, too far to get the dust. You hate to see it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, nice stuff from Placido. At least he got rid of the minion. He needs one more opening and this should be it. Oh, Ooh, he's got the jump in with the jumping dust, man. Got the jumping dust in. We went on to the last match. The last round of the last match. How many times? I, I said, like, I remember perfectly saying, like, at the start of... Uh, Semi-final of the uh, the top eight. Yeah, it's fine. Like up until now, the, the matches went very quick, so maybe we're gonna end relatively quickly tonight. But maybe it's not gonna be the case. If we, I feel like we're gonna get a grandmaster reset, a grandmaster grand grand final reset. That being said, here we go with the Elysian Driver. Ah, what's you know? Not looking too good right now. Definitely bleeding. It's not impossible to make a comeback, but ah, uh, you needed to get the hit in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, mm, Reflect Shield does not work very good against, uh, ooh, wait for it, gets, ooh, this is bad, ooh, he gets the jump in, ooh, this is looking pretty bad, ah, uh, okay, one more chance, ah, and the 6 before they kill, you hate to see it, this one down to the wire, 3 to 2, Moogie, 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 <laughs> still wanting to make, uh, Axel work. That being said, the, uh... Because I think Moogie fought against Cafe earlier, did he? Let me check. And he decided to pick Axel, but he lost when he did. Wait, was it... Oh no, it was Hagiara. It was against Hagiara, yeah. And he still wants to use Axel this time around. So we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how this pans out. That being said, we go with the tech. Very nice tech from Hagiara. Uh, yeah, from Hagiara. Boogie already in the corner. No, oh, okay, finally. The assault is over, but here comes Hagiara. Uh-oh. Finally. Boogie out. Oh, out of pressure. Finally forces Hagiara to pop the burst. Nice block on the dust, by the way. Gets grabbed. Okay. And back to the pressure. Finally, Boogie forced to pop the wire C. Tries to go for the rainwater, but Hagiara was sniffing it out. Oh lord! Nice patience from Mugi. I guess the jump in. I smell a wire seed though. Ah. Ah lord. I didn't even know you get damage from from uh, getting hit by the uh, from hitting the the guard point. It makes no sense. <laughs> Anyways. Here we go with the ah the rainwater. Ah. Nice grab from Mugi. Not ready to let I gotta just grab him for free. That is a very good question. Well I would think that not that I play either characters, but I think that since Mugi decides to use Axel against her. Uh, the matchup might be, if not if not favorable for Axel, it might it might actually be better than if he used Nagoriyuki. But then again, I'm I'm I cannot like give my my uneducated guess. I, I think that it, it could definitely play in in, uh, in the um in, in Axel's favor in the sense that he can dispatch the uh, the minions eat more easier than other characters since uh, he doesn't need to be close to them in order to kill them. Like, I think that he can pretty much kill them from anywhere on the screen. So I think that, yeah, it might be in... It, it, I, it wouldn't surprise me if it's in uh, in favor of, uh, of Axel. And for now, it's looking pretty good. Like, uh, Mugi is really controlling the pace of the match. The neutral and everything. Uh, Hagara has a lot of problems just getting in. Oh, wow, big wake up overdrive right there from Mugi. Here we go, yeah. Mugi just glad to just, yeah, harass his opponent and gets the kill with the 2k to the only freaking lord. Mugi taking the lead. Ah, and here we go. The minions are out. Ah, but yeah, but there's a strange angle at which it seems like uh, uh, Axel has a has problem sitting the minions. So, ooh, wow. Nice. Nice freaking confirmed though with the Axel Bomber, that was sick. Tried to go for the quick dust though, but 
I was gonna say Haram, but no. Hagara. Ah, oh, not ready to. Wasn't ready. Good stuff for Mugi. Takes the second match as well. Good freaking lord. If he wins with Axel in Grand Final, I'm gonna have to put uh, his icon as Axel today for the top eight. If he wins with him. That's it. If not, I'm gonna give him Nagori Yugi. Nice Axel Bomber again with the confirm. And confirmation stage. Things are looking pretty good for him, Magnum Lord. I'd like to fight uh, Mugi. Mugi's Axel, actually. I'd like to fight it. Oh, look. Here go the blocks. And here comes the 6P. And the corner pressure. Nice YRC right there. Yeah, Mugi just harassing Hagera. Who gets the jump in? Goes for the grab. Ooh, again with the 6P. I got an on point. And Lord! Mugi reading the jump back and getting the grab. Aerial grab. We are on tournament point, guys. That was pretty quick. That, if, if, if this finishes real quick like this, this is going to be fun. Oh. Uh, no entire. air. Fortunately there. Oh, wow. The just blocks, though. Instant block. Uh-uh. Nice trade in favor of Hagyara. Ah, uh, and here comes the freaking... Uh, how do you call it? Uh, the guard... The point guard. The guard point. Hagyara with the uh, heavy knockdown. Ooh, it's almost got hit off. That means skills, eh? Uh, this should be it. For this round, at least. Okie dokie. Still turning on point. I gotta manage to save one. Is he gonna save the other? Ah, bad start though. Gets hit by the 6 feet. Ooh, wow. Here we go with the jump. Yeah. Oh, Lord. No, oh, this is gonna be huge. Not gonna be enough to kill though, but. I tried to go for the grab, but man, I got so on point when it comes to not getting grabbed. Crazy. Ah, here we go with the pressure. You have to eat it. Uh, yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill. Is it? That's not. Is it though? No. That's not. Okay, what are the options of Mugi? Well, he does have burst. He has some tension bar. Again, gets hit by the. You hate to see it, the freaking guard point. And gets hit by the minion. Finally, Hagera putting one on the board. Finally waking up. So let's see how this pans out. Ah ah ah! Mugi going straight for the kill. Straight for the jugular right now. Yeah, he says, okay, I, I lose once. Okay, you fought my axle. You got used to my axle. Now fight my Nagori Yuki. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, Mugi said, hell no, I'm not. I'm not taking any chances, man. Here we go. Kanzentai Mugi, exactly. So this. Honki o dasu Mugi. And here we go. Mugi fetching the Nagori Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Lord, and it's start of the Ooh, this man has no chill. Start of the round, half of your life is gone. Just deal with it. We don't want to hear you complain. Ooh, okay, going even with the follow up, that was surprising. Ah, too far though for this. And surrounded by minions, and that was crazy. Okay, what is going to be the mix? Wow, close S. Ooh, double close S. And this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Quick first round. Let's see if Hagera can manage to save it. Tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Too far for the 6 HS though. Oh, wow. That was a big counter hit. Oh, too far. But Mugi with the recognition station that Hagera was not going to be able to capitalize off of it. Gets the trade. Oh, big grab right there from Hagera. Uh, here we go with the corner pressure. Ah, uh, how do I get up with the grab and the OTG? No, 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 no. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I get us straight into the Illusion Driver. Okay, how do saving that tournament point yet again? This is the third one in the row that he saves. Let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from Hagera. Woo! Ah, uh, forcing Mugi to pop the burst. Ah, uh, Mugi trying to, yeah. Trying to take a lot of risk right there. Gets the close S. Downer hit. Ah, uh, yeah. Too far to get anything. 
Good lord. Ah, man. Yeah. Nice juggle right there, unfortunately. For Ooh, lord. I don't know what Mugi wanted to do there, but... Oh, this is death. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I spoke too, too soon. Here we go, the grab. Okay. Oh, again, man, with the freaking... Ooh! No, too far. Ooh! <laughs> oh, Lord, forward Fukio into the Beyblade for the kill.